This is Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV. Yes, I am. Make sure to subscribe and leave us a review. This is Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV. Yes, I am. Make sure to subscribe and leave us a review. Be sure to join us next time. Twentieth of March, twenty twenty-one. Live for Love TV. Back here with you. Um, we've got a subject matter here that I normally don't actually enter into because when you look on YouTube and you look around the world and on different uh, blogs and stuff you hear this subject matter coming up constantly. It's about Jamaica and it's about the murder rate in Jamaica. It seems like when people talk about Jamaica that seems to be the only conversation you hear. I mean I've been hearing it on every time someone opens their mouth about Jamaica I hear about the murder rate. So I'm going to come with live for love's way of a perspective of showing you something about what we need to look at. It's not just the murder rate when you look at a country. You have to look at other things. So we're going to go to 2017. We've given ourselves two or three years to digest the figures. And we're going to look at 2017's figures, actual figures, about Jamaica. Now Jamaica becomes the second after El Salvador in murder rate. And the murder rate is judged per 100,000. So every 100,000 people you have how many people were murdered. That's how they judge the murder rate. And it's a terrible figure. A small Jamaica, you look at it and you say, wow, number two in the world, a place where it's not at war with an external enemy. It's a terrible figure, it's sad. We all feel it and every, every single death is a tragedy. But um, we also need to look at another figure to get a true balance of what's happening. And that figure is called the death rate. Now the death rate as you can hear by the way I'm separating from the murder rate, are separate things. A thousand ways to die, choose one, remember that saying? So one of them is homicide or murder, so you could have 999 different ways to die. When you look at the death rate around the world in 2017, the very same year when Jamaica was the second in homicide around the world, when you look at the death rate, the very same year, 2017, where you would expect to find Jamaica in the top three or four, they're not there. And when I was looking down the list, I was in shock. I looked down to five, six, seven, I couldn't find Jamaica's name. I went down to the top 10, they weren't there. Top 20, they weren't there. Top 30, they weren't there. I went down to the top 50 and they weren't there. So Jamaica is not in the top 50 of death rate. And that's important to remember when we're talking about the subject of the murder rate. So Jamaica is the 61st and 27th country in the world on death rate. And I'm going to read out a few countries that death rate is higher than Jamaica's. Lesotho, Afghanistan, Somalia, Portugal, DR Congo, South Africa, UK, Trinidad and Tobago, Cuba, Grenada, Senegal, Dominica, United States of America, Virgin Island, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Bahamas and also the Gambia. And most people who know Gambia, I've been to Gambia, a lot of people know Gambia. Gambia's murder rate is minute. I mean, you can have more people murdered in a month than you have the whole year in Gambia. So how is it that Jamaica's death rate and murder rate chart is so different? Well, as I said, there's many ways to die, many different ways to die. We know murder is a terrible way to die. But what this chart tells you, if you're listening properly, what it tells you, that you have more chance of dying in countries such as the UK, the United States, uh, Canada, of anything. I don't know what it could be, but you've got more chance of dying in all these countries I named, plus 60 countries, bef as, you know, other 60 countries before Jamaica. So Jamaica has got a terrible murder rate, but it's dead. But so the murder rate is way up there, terrible but the death rate is down here. So Jamaica's doing something right. No matter what you say, Jamaica must be doing something better than a lot of other countries if its death rate is not all the way up here. So for all those people who say they don't want to go back to the yard and they don't 
want to go to Jamaica because things are rough down there. Maybe where you're living, there's more chance of you dying at the end of that year than there is if you go to Jamaica. Remember, the United States of America is twice as likely you will die there at the end of any year than you would do in Jamaica. So I'm going to leave you with a little bit of food for thought there, and I hope that um, entertained you and informed you and educated you like Live for Love TV tries to do. And just remember, keep it love, not fear. Live for Love TV.